correspondent John Roberts. He is live in South Korea. John, I don't think you've slept uh, maybe in a day or so. What are you seeing there on the ground, sir? <laughs> It's much longer than a day. <laughs> you know, any amount of sleep will do uh, in the near future. Uh, Ed Jedediah, Peter, good morning to you. The president is on his way back to Washington, D.C. Left Ozan Air Force Base south of uh, Seoul about uh, 45 minutes to an hour ago aboard Air Force One. He should be back there tomorrow afternoon. Uh, the president clearly happy about his visit here to South Korea. In addition to his visit to Osaka in the G20, the president tweeting on his way out, quote, leaving South Korea after a wonderful meeting with Kim, Kim Jong-un, stood on the soil of North Korea, an important statement for all and a great honor. It really was amazing to watch it play out. Such a historic event, the uh, demilitarized zone. It's about 160 miles long and uh, two and a half miles wide, but at uh, what's called the Joint Security Area there, it comes down to a strip of stone about 16 inches wide. President Trump walked right up to that, pe that strip of stone on the south side with Kim on the north side. The president looked at Kim and said, should I step over? Kim invited him over. Here's how the president described it later on. Listen here. We went and met at the line, and in meeting at the line, I said, would you like me to come across? He said, I would be so honored. And that's the way it worked out. I didn't know really what he was going to say, uh, but it was my honor to do it. Now, going into this, the president said that the, this probably wouldn't be much more than a handshake, though he said handshakes can be important. The meeting would probably last about five to seven minutes. As you pointed out at the top, Ed, it lasted an hour or so with an agreement to restart nuclear talks that broke down after the summit in Hanoi back in February. Listen to how the president described it. It was a great success because we maintained our relationship. So uh, we're going to have teams. They're going to meet over the next few weeks, and they're going to start a process, and we'll see what happens. The one, the one thing that President Trump believes he has is time. The time is on his side. He says he's in no rush to do anything, and that in order to get it right, unlike so many other successive or previous administrations, uh, you have to take the time to make sure that you've got all the I's dotted and all the T's crossed. Listen to what the president said. Speed is not the object. We want to see if we can do a really comprehensive good deal. Uh, nobody knows how things turn out, but certainly this was a great day. This was a, a very legendary, very historic day. It certainly was a historic day as to whether or not it will ultimately be productive. That's up to the U.S. team, which is going to be led by Steve Began, the president's envoy to North Korea. Uh, obviously, Mike Pompeo, the secretary of state, will be involved, too. Kim Jong-un has proven reluctant to give up his entire nuclear program back in February in Hanoi. He offered to decommission and dismantle the Yongbyon nuclear plant in uh, exchange for sanctions being lifted. But President Trump told him in no uncertain terms that if he wants sanctions lifted, he's got to get rid of the entire nuclear program, the ballistic missile program, as well as his chemical and biological weapons program. So I think it's pretty safe to say, uh, Pete, Jedediah, and Ed, we are a long way from that even though there's still yeah. to be some significant progress. Absolutely. Okay. Well, John, you set the stage very nicely for us this morning. Great reporting. Thank you. Uh, we'll spare you the questions. Go ahead and take a nap. You've been up for a long time. <laughs>